Welcome to Science Research Weekly, Episode 11, Cue the Sci-Fi Dystopia Film Score. Get ready for atomic nuclei views, artificial organelles, AI article generation, PyCon Simpsons Paradox, building your favorite technologies from scratch, and funding to maintain and code. This episode contains material for March 24th to March 30th. Let's get into research articles. First, researching it up, we have the article Genome-Wide Subcellular Protein App for the Flagellate Parasite Trypanosoma brucei. So trypanosoma is carried by tsetse flies and it causes sleeping sickness in humans, so a serious human parasite. Anyways, here in this study, researchers developed a resource called TripTag, a protein atlas that showed protein location in cells. Next up, we have the paper, Artificial Organelles for Sustainable Chemical Energy Conversion and Production in Artificial Cells, Artificial Mitochondria, and Chloroplast. Bit of a mouthful. Anyways, here researchers summarize, uh, summarize essential components for artificial organelles and recent progress. Development of artificial organelles and cells could provide future biomaterials and insight into cellular organs. Origins. It also sounds like the starting point for a science fiction dystopia film. So let's not get too crazy here with the artificial organelles. Sliding right along, we have the paper Tomography of ultra relativistic nuclei with polarized photon gluon collisions. In a technique similar to apparently PET scanning, researchers use the relativistic heavy ion collider to measure the distribution of gluons. So those are elementary particles that bind quarks together by shooting ions surrounded by polarized photons past each other. How it does it all work? Math. Lots of math and a high-powered particle accelerator, continuing the theme of science fiction disaster setup. Our next paper, a little bit lighter, is core cellular and tissue-specific mechanisms enable desiccation tolerance in crater stigma. So here researchers looked at the genome of the resurrection plant, uh, Cratero stigma. The genome of this plant is complex and actually octoploid. That means there's eight copies of each chromosome, unlike our puny diploid, that is two copies for the human genome. There were a lot of genes uh, that were compounded to provide drought resistance rather than like a single gene. The only plant to be left alive, this resurrection plant, after our aforementioned science fiction disaster movie opening coming to a theater near you. And last on our list of journal articles, we have chatting and cheating, ensuring academic integrity in the era of chat GBT. In this paper, everything except actually the discussion was written directly by chat GBT. The big take home point was that increased sophistication of AI and models and the need for a wake up call and the use of it in the university and academic setting. Now, I'm very wary of AI and its potential for misuse, especially by bad actors. But despite my unease, I find it important to face it and understand it rather than to try to ignore it and push it away. AI is already shaking up a lot of areas, so it's wise to pay attention. Whether its use is good or bad, we need to be awake to it. So to, to, to be clear, I, I'm not worried that AI will become sentient or anything. That, that plot point is reserved for the science fiction dystopia movie we've been working on today. Well, that's all for articles. Let's switch over to some research tools. First, uh, two more issues from volume 106 of the Journal of Statistical Software is now quietly waiting for you to open and look at. There is GF Pop, an R package for a univariate graph constrained charge point detection, and probabilistic estimation and projection of the annual total fertility rate accounting for past uncertainty, a major update of the Bayes TFRR package. Now then, Python is pleased to pronounce the upcoming PyCon US on April 19th. So that's 
for 2023. Quote, it's going to be an empowering celebration of all things Python, packed with great talks, events, and the magic that comes from bringing the Python community together. 20th anniversary special. Julia Hub also has news to share. Julia Hub and Julia are ranked 12. Um, that's 10, 12, anyways, not using my hands here. Number 12 in the top 25 open source providers as measured by Red Point. So lucky number 12 for Julia. Not to leave SAS out of the loop, last week we talked about including confounding variables in a SAS analysis. In case you weren't convinced, Rick Rickham from the Do Loop is back this week for a poignant example of why including confounding variables are important. Simpson's paradox, where aggregated data can show relationships that are not present or even reversed in subject populations of the data. Get ye to a SAS session. Now then, looking for ideas to wet your JavaScript coding skills whistle? Look no further than Stat Analytica's recent post, Awesome JavaScript Projects for Beginners in 2023. There is one calculator, two to-do list, three quiz game, four image slider, five weather app, six TikTok game, seven, oh, sorry, tic-tac-toe game. TikTok's a different thing. That's all their barrel of snakes. Anyway, seven hangman game, eight memory game, nine snake game. There's that barrel of snakes I talked about. 10 music player, 11 chat application, 12 browser game, 13 virtual keyboard, 14 drawing app, 15 word processor, and a bonus 16 e-commerce website. Loosening up in R here, we have new CRAM packages for R's as follows. Length, allow misspellings of the length function. Where have you been all my life package? That is fantastic. I misspell length all the time. Next is C2Z, a reference manager. Then ECAN, ecological analysis and visualization. And finally, Viscus, or Vicus, exploiting local structure to improve network-based analysis of biological data. Our bloggers brings only the best. Here are three I've snatched. A mainstay by our views, February 2023, top 40 new CRAM packages. My top five suggestions for further exploration are, one, dfit, provides functions that use numerical optimizations to fit first and second order ordinary differential equations to time series data in order to examine the dynamic relationship between variables or the characteristics of a dynamical system. Yes, lots of math. Two, sim a E rep implements bootstrap based simulations methods to detect clinical trials that may be under reporting adverse effects or events. Three, GC plier implements tools to import, manipulate, and analyze bacterial growth curve data as commonly outputted by plate readers, including for reshaping common plate reader outputs into tidy formats. Four, surrogate RSQ. Implements the surrogate R squared measure for categorical data analysis proposed in lieu at all 2022. And five, ggrain, extends ggplot2 to create rain cloud plots. Work with redcap. Rpost.com shows off the redcap DM package that allows users to read data explored directly from redcap or via an API connection. R on R for ecology discusses the top five ish sources of ecological data. One, data sets that come with R. Two, the knowledge network for biocomplexity. Three, the environmental data initiative. Four, the national ecological observational network, NEON. And five, the global biodiversity information facility. Over on. GitHub, I stumbled upon a repository called Build Your Own X, compilation of well-written step-by-step guide for recreating favorite technologies from scratch. Topics include 3D renderer, augmented reality database, game operating system, virtual machine text editor, web browser, and more. 
dig in with your favorite coding language, Python, dry, shaken, not stirred. Let's finish out our wonderful time together with some research funding. The Department of Defense, FY24, Young Investigator Program is now open for proposals. The National Human Genome Research Institute, and HGRI, has a notice of special interest, competitive revisions for maintenance and integration of the encyclopedia of DNA elements, so ENCODE, data resource. And there are two National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research, NIDCR. Grant opportunities are also available on analyzing existing genomics data, both a RO1 and a RO3, and so the RO3 is a small research grant. All right, lasers and death bots, thanks for joining me for Science Research Weekly. Science on.